Hi guys and welcome to the a -tip. Let's talk about the yoga and spine health. And I wanna say, if you are dealing with any kind of back pain, yoga may be just what the doctor ordered. We live in a world filled with back contracting activities. We hunch over a computer to work, crunch our faces over our cell phone screens, dealing with the household chores and slouch on a couch to stream Netflix. This is why doing the opposite with your back is literally crucial for your spine health and why yoga backbends are a practice that you should try to do as often as possible. In this video, I will show you five backbends to improve posture and stretching the spine. All these postures will put your spine into the extension, which is the opposite to the posture we spend most of our time. These postures are easy to perform even for the people with no yoga experience at all, and I highly recommend to do these postures during your daily routine for about one to minutes every few hours of your day. We are going to start with the cat cow pose, which is a great introductory backbend and can serve as a warm up to the backbend series. All right, grab your mat and we begin. Start in tabletop position. Place your wrist under your shoulders and knees under your hips. And heel as you drop your belly towards the ground and pull your chest through your arms. Lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling and your gaze up. As you exhale, draw your belly to your spine and round your back towards the ceiling. The pose should look like a cat stretching its back. Release the crown of your head towards the floor, but don't force your chin to your chest. Repeat 10 to 20 times and then rest in child pose, stretching your back. Next is Cobra Pose, Bujangasana. This backbend is done one line on your stomach. Bend your elbows and place your palms down underneath your shoulders. Hug your elbows in towards your body. Extend your legs, pressing the top of your feet into the mat. Press the pubic bone down and then pull your hands back towards your front hip points. And heel as you lift your chest up off the floor. Find some extension on strengthening through the arms as you bring your shoulders down. Hold in this position for 10 to 20 counts. Locust pose, Salabasana. Please take a look at the position of the hands in this pose. Imagine you are serving volleyball. Lie in the belly with chin forward on a towel. Lift your hips and arrange your arms in a volleyball position beneath your abdomen. Keep your palms flat on the floor. Hips should balance on top of your wrist. Without lifting your hips, raise right leg straight up to the 45 degrees and keep left leg relaxed on the floor. Right leg straight, point your toes and lock the knee. Your hip bones touching the forearms. Keep stretching right leg back and hold pose for 10 seconds. Then repeat with the left leg. Make sure you keep your left leg straight, 45 degrees. Keep your right leg relaxed on the floor. Keep stretching your left leg back and hold for 10 seconds. Next, locus with both legs. Protect your neck by tucking chin in and keep mouth on a towel like you're kissing your towel. Both arms underneath your body, point your toes and lock both knees. Lift your both legs up away from the floor. Breathe through your nose. Keep pointing your toes. Keep locking both knees. Breathe and hold this pose for 10 to 20 seconds. Full locus, Purna Salabasana. Stretch your arms out to the side in a line with shoulders. Palm facing down, legs are straight, knees and feet together. Take a deep breath and lift your arms, legs, chest and head away from the floor. Keep your gaze lifted up and remember to breathe. Use your back muscle and maintain stretched arms and legs and keep them engaged. Hold this posture for 10 to 20 seconds.
bow pose than your asana. Bend your knees and grab outside of each foot two inches below your toes. Keep feet and knees together as close as possible. Inhale and simultaneously kick your legs back and lift thighs and upper body away from the floor. Push your hips and pelvis into the floor. Release shoulders back and relax your neck as you lift your torso up. Use equal strength in both legs and kick. Hold this posture for about 20 seconds and breathe. Camel pose, Ustrasna. Start with your knees and feet hip width apart, with your hands on the lower back, fingers pointing down. Inhale as you press your hips forward and lift your chest up. Gaze up towards the ceiling, take a breath and if you feel comfortable, bring your right hand down to grab your right heel and left hand down to grab your left heel. Keep your thumbs outside of the feet and place the fingers inside on the soles. Keep the grip tight on the feet and push hips forward. Keep your chest lifted. Breathe deeply as you hold this pose for 20 seconds. Now slowly place your hands on your low back and engage your abdominals to help you come out of the posture and protect your back. Let's finish with the bridge pose. Begin on your back with your hands by your side and palms facing down. Bend your knees, your feet should be hip width distant apart. Press into your feet and lift your hips up. For deeper bend, interlace your fingers beneath you and lift your hips even higher. Hold in this position for 10 to 20 counts.